when the Idaho 4 case finally goes to trial someday, will we ever learn the truth? Or is this whole thing just gonna fall apart like a house of cards? Hey guys, so after my four-part Idaho 4 case series, I promised you that I would set this case aside unless something groundbreaking happens. But lo and behold, the ground is a shaking. So there was another hearing in the Idaho versus Koberger case not long ago, depending on how fast I managed to edit this. There were a couple of things discussed, but in summary, what we learned is that it seems as if the uh, prosecution doesn't really have that strong of a case. So the defense, Brian Koberger's team, still wants a bunch of stuff handed over to them so that they can build their case. But the prosecution keeps claiming, we don't have this, we don't have that. They seem to have nothing, is what it looks like. Okay, let's start at the beginning. So we know that Brian Koberger's team and Taylor, his lawyer, they wanted the IgG information because they wanted to know how exactly, step by step, the state got to Brian. And honestly, can we fault them for that? To me, that sounds pretty logical. Now, as we know, the problem with the IgG is that when the FBI created the profile, from what I understand, they deleted the process. So you have uh, point A, B, and C, right? From how did you get from point A to point C? And all the stuff in the middle, they deleted once they arrived to point C because that's just how it works and it's, it's privacy policy. It's nothing strange that they would delete this information once they had a match. So, okay, they were working in accordance with the standard procedures, but that doesn't mean that the standard procedure, if this is the standard procedure, isn't a little bit strange. You want to be able to prove how you got to a certain suspect, especially with a DP case, especially a quadruple unalivings case. You want very firm, very solid evidence. In a math class, you don't get any points if you just write down the answer. You need to write the whole equation, right? How did you get to the answer? You have to show them how you arrived to that conclusion, to that result. It still baffles me how it can be legal or normal that all the discovery stuff is deleted or, you know, stored somewhere away where people who may need it for defending their client or for making a ca case against uh, someone, against the suspect, how is it possible that they're not allowed access to that information if this information was used to arrest someone? The defense is asking for this information, which the state doesn't have, even though the state used this information to arrest Brian. That's how I'm understanding it. So, how? 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 Another piece of information that the prosecution seemingly doesn't have, therefore they can't hand it over to the defense, is the cast information. Then there was the training records. They brought the training records up again, so I guess they still didn't get access to those training records that Ann Taylor had asked for months and months ago, maybe even a year ago. She wanted training records of some specific officers that had worked on the case because then there was also a... There was something about the chain of custody of how the evidence that was collected at Brian's apartment was handled. I, From what I remember, the training records had to do with that, but feel free to correct me if I'm misremembering that. There's a bunch of stuff that the fans had asked for repeatedly and didn't receive it even though for a lot of this stuff the prosecution is claiming we gave you all, or basically virtually all, we have. So if that's true, where's the rest of the stuff? Why doesn't even the prosecution have access to this stuff? Ann Taylor said that the defense received, quote, tiny little pieces of footage that allegedly places Brian uh, at 1122 King Road or around 1122 King Road on that night. So. First of all, th these clips are just clips in pieces uh, and there's missing audio from those clips. It's not clear if these are the original clips and that the audio is just missing for whatever reason or if the defense has been given clips that had been altered and that's why the audio is missing. Either way, 
And considering that this isn't anyone's first rodeo, nor for the defense, neither for the prosecution, did the state just think that the defense wouldn't ask for this evidence and that they'd be able to say, yeah, this is, we gathered this information, we don't have it in our possession, but just trust us on this. This is giving me major flashbacks to what uh, Captain Lanier said way back when in the first, second, third press conference. We told the public very clearly from the beginning that we believe it was a targeted attack. I mean, to be honest, you're going to have to trust us on that at this point because we're not going to release why we think that. I think it's very frustrating that we're a year and a half into this case and the prosecution is still pushing for closed hearings. They still want to keep certain secrets. On the other hand, uh, back when they discussed the survey that the defense put out, the prosecution was very upset because Brian was represented in a negative light and it, the, the survey was fueling misinformation. So if you don't want people to talk, if you don't want people to come up with theories and speculations, then come out with the truth. At some point, this case is gonna have to move somewhere. Or are they just trying to drag it out and then throw it out? I have no idea. And I get the privacy concerns, right? Because the prosecution did bring up the um, pro potential privacy issues. That's why they wanted certain hearings to be closed, because there are going to be names of people and, you know, private individuals, and they don't want those out in public. And I understand that. But there's probably a way around that. I'm sure they could find a way around that if they wanted to. But then again, at some point, more things are gonna have to come out. If they have this man in custody, this suspect, that they seem to be so sure is their guy, they arrested him based on something. So where is all this firm evidence? Why doesn't the prosecution have this evidence? Or rather, why isn't the prosecution allowed to have that evidence in their possession? My American viewers, feel free to expand on this. Is this case, similar to anything you've seen is the way the things are unfolding is it really that unusual as it seems or have you seen something like this before frankly the most shocking line to me came from the judge himself when he said uh to ann taylor something along the lines of well it's hard to convince people to give you some information if they don't want to give you that information sometimes you know we just can't quite get what we want uh, from other people who might have it that don't want to give it up. Excuse me? I mean, it was so dismissive. So just like, yeah, you want that information. Ah, I see, but they're not giving it to you. Oh, well, tough luck. You know, th this must really suck for you. What kind of a response is that? Honestly, doesn't a judge have some sort of authority to say, okay, hand this over to the prosecution and then the prosecution hands it over to the defense or whatever. From what I understand, FBI has certain things because they did the genetic genealogy thing. So if certain evidence is with the FBI, then whose job is it to say, hey, give the prosecution this information because at one point you clearly already gave them this information which they used to arrest this man. I know you can't force them, but I'm pretty sure that someone can encourage people to hand over the evidence. How can it come to this? Help me understand, genuinely. Um, so that's that on my little rant for today. Make sure to tune in probably on Friday. I'll be posting another video this week because I have been working on something. I made a post about it. Let's say it's going back to the roots of this channel, going back to my, my old passions, my forever passions, let's say. I enough about that. I'll, I'll let you be surprised. So thanks for watching. As always, share your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Take care and I'll see you soon.